Shark Tale is an animated children's film about talking fish. Now you may be asking, why the fuck are you talking about an animated children's film about talking fish? And the answer is pretty simple. It's because I enjoy talking about talking things, and it seems that you guys enjoy it too. So it's a win-win. Also, because I do think this film does have some really good merit that people occasionally miss due to its low reception and whatnot. So yeah, I'm just gonna be taking a little dive into what I think is really good about this movie and how it's not that bad. Now, probably the biggest turnoff for many about this movie is the character designs. They're horrifying, they're scary, they'll make you poop your blood. They're honestly just fucking nightmare fuel in general. However, I think they're pretty good for what they are. If you think about it, this movie is about anthropomorphic fish. Now, that's not really a good of excuse of itself, except for the fact that how often do you see movies about anthropomorphic fish? The only one I can name is Finding Nemo. Yet, Shark Tale and Finding Nemo feel very different in theme. Finding Nemo follows the traits of an actual fish. You know, they live the fish life in reefs and shit. Whereas Shark Tale, they have whole ass buildings, they have a mafia system, they have jobs. I mean, this is a more humane... Finding Nemo, I guess you could say. Now, I will agree the facial recognition in the fish is weird as shit, but it does kind of complement this humane feeling in a way. I don't know. It could just be me, but I think this is pretty fair. Although, I do not doubt this gave many, many, many kids insomnia. Alright, enough about Will Smith's hot-ass facial recognition and more about the actual plot of the movie. Now, I'm not going to go over the whole entire plot of this movie, but I will say it's alright. I feel like I've heard it before. It's kind of samey. I mean, a gay, I mean, vegetarian shark needing acceptance from his father who doesn't like who he is. Fame loving fish becoming famous and realizing how shitty it is. I feel like I've heard that in other sorts of ways, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's not terrible. Now, the movie does have some sad and otherwise humorous moments, even if those said humorous moments weren't meant to be humorous. The animation for the movie is really good. For 2004 standards, I think it's pretty good, honestly. I mean, this movie could pass up as a 2007 film, even, I'd argue. There are some moments that look better than others, some character models that look better than others, but, uh, you know, I think it does a pretty good job in the animation degree. Now, for a children's film, this movie does actually deal with some heavier topics, such as prostitution, gambling, and even mafia. I mean, that's pretty insane if you ask me. Kind of unnecessary, but still very important life lessons indeed. Now, one thing that didn't really surprise me about this movie coming from a 2004 DreamWorks film was all the product placement and some of the licensed songs. I wasn't really surprised. Now, one thing that did shock me were the original songs. I was not expecting them to be very good, but they... They caught me off guard, man. They really did. When people mention Kanye West Gold Digger, I don't think of the Kanye West one. I think of the Shark Tale one. I mean, holy shit, not too bad. Now, one thing I really like about this movie is the voice acting. It's really well done, and you have a great cast here. You got Will Smith, Robert De Niro, Jack Black. I mean, that's when you know it's gonna be a damn funny movie. And I mean, the cast is very, very fitting for their roles. I think they did an excellent job. Along with the cast being really good, I really enjoyed the characters in this movie. My favorites were Sykes, Dawn, Oscar. Those are probably my top three. But all the other characters were really good. There wasn't one that I ever resented, honestly. Shark Tale is not as bad as people say. It's a pretty enjoyable movie. It's not so great to deserve an Oscar nominee, but neither is it as atrocious as people make it sound to be. I think it was very enjoyable, had a fun cast of characters, and had some great soundtracks, and the animation was pretty cool. And obviously I really like the cast of this movie, not gonna lie. But yeah, the plot, pretty generic, and some of the moments in the movie are forgettable. However, overall, it's an enjoyable one. Probably not the most comfortable movie to watch with family, but it's doable. It's definitely not a bad movie, in my case. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Wake up. Wake up.